say an hour ago now, Tyler dropped a song on Twitter and I tried to click it and YouTube was like, no, 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 it's a black bag copyright. Despite the fact that YouTube basically like pimp slapped the song like off of its site, there was always that one clutch person on the internet that managed to find another way to get to a song. And so basically Tyler said on Twitter, somebody put it on SoundCloud and literally two seconds later, it was on SoundCloud. What Tyler does is he takes the formula of Ziploc, which was a rap he did as a freestyle over one of Jay-Z's 444 beats at the time. And he basically rapped over that. What he's doing here is taking a song from, I'm assuming the Kids See Ghost collaboration of Kanye and Kid Cudi and rapping over that. What he titled it was Crust Over Their Eyes. What I really liked about this song was that it was blunt and straightforward. He takes the idea of him being blunt and straightforward and how he uses that in order to overcome obstacles and things that may burden him emotionally. And he also in the same vein says, this is why you guys are stuck with scabs and stuff, not literal scabs and scars. But scabs being like those little injuries you pick at, what he's saying here is that emotionally people like to pick at certain things that bug them rather than fully confront them and simply deal with it right there. That is what Tyler likes to do. Now is he completely right about it? To an extent, yes. But if you want to get into that idea of how people handle their own emotional distress, it's obvious that it's not that easy. So I'm not saying that Tyler's wrong and I'm not saying he's completely right. I just think that it works for him and it might work for other people who have that same type of outlook on themselves that he has with himself. A little bit deeper too into this concept, hearing the words kids see ghosts is pretty interesting because Tyler is kind of criticizing people who don't really grow up and are able to emotionally handle certain distresses that come their way and maybe the proper way that they should given their age. Highlighting the fact that, you know, you haven't matured, you're stuck in the past. The past that is haunting you ferociously is the same past that Tyler has been able to confront time and time again that past that other people, other celebrities, other people who are successful, other people just in your general life have been able to conquer in a way. And sometimes those ghosts just never go away for people. And it's a very hard thing to deal with. And it's a very, sometimes it's a varying battle. It is a really cool rap that kind of focuses on that concept by using bluntness as a way to jump over the whole, well, we gotta play it safe. Tyler also does is he highlights how these same ways that the people are trying to handle the problems affect them negatively, how the woke people have crossed in their eyes. And he does this is to show that the opposite reaction can build to a certain boiling point and why he feels that blunt force, i.e. like instead of trying to pick lock a door, you would just kick through the door or you would break a hammer through the door. You would do something else to get that door down instead of taking your time and pick locking it because maybe you're trying to rob somebody's house and you need to get in the house and you can't have the police coming because if the police get there well they're gonna see you pick locking and you're screwed yeah you're absolutely screwed i think tyler's strategy is one that can work for select people just like any kind of medicine or any kind of other way that people cope with their issues there's always a way to exercise the demon well, this guy says, I present you a future that won't pass me by. Yeah, that was supposed to be cool in my head.